Hi, a warm welcome to you. In the last video, we have seen trigonometric identities. In this video, we will see how trigonometric ratios of negative angles and positive angles are related. What I mean by that is, if I have a point with coordinates x comma y, which is making an angle theta in the positive direction, in the positive direction of x axis in counterclockwise direction. Suppose I take a same theta in clockwise direction, then how they are related. To do that, very simply, what we will do, we will try to take angle theta in clockwise direction from here. That means this is 0 degrees angle, right? This is 90, 180, 270, 360. So, from positive direction of x axis, we have taken earlier theta. Now, I will take in clockwise direction, same angle theta. And I will see how the cos theta, sin theta values are changing with respect to cos of minus theta and sin of minus theta. So, let us go ahead and do that. First, we will see how the, what are the values of cos theta and sin theta. I know that cos of theta is nothing but equal to, I have just taken this again and kept it here so that it is easy. Now, when I have joined this, I know that y is negative in the fourth quadrant. That means y will become minus y. x remains as positive because you are on the positive direction of positive side of x axis. You are either in the first quadrant or fourth quadrant, x is always positive. Okay. Now, what is cos theta? Cos theta equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. That is nothing but equal to x. Similarly, sin theta. Sin theta is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse. That is nothing but equal to y. Now, let us come to cos of theta. Cos of minus theta. Cos of minus theta is here I have to see adjacent by hypotenuse, that is nothing but equal to x, whereas sin of minus theta is opposite of minus theta is minus y divided by hypotenuse is 1, so minus y. You can see very clearly cos of theta is equal to cos of minus theta. That means even though you apply negative, you are finding out trigonometric ratios of negative angle, it is nothing but equal to finding out the same for positive angle where theta is positive. Okay? Whereas, if sin, whereas, if sin theta equal to y, we have seen sin of minus theta is equal to minus y. That means, sin of minus theta is nothing but equal to minus of sin theta. So, I can write this as equal to cos of theta. Here, I can write it as nothing but equal to minus of sin theta. So, our observation is cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta, whereas sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta, which we will be using very frequently moving forward. Okay? In the next video, what we will see, we will see what are the general values we have in the um, quadrant angles. Quadrant angles are between 0 to 360, 90, 180, 270. We will see whatever we know, we will try to recap. That is 30, 45, 60, 90 degrees values on trigonometric ratios. And also, we will see what happens if I have a theta, I add 90 degrees to it, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, or I subtract 270 from theta, how, how the value of those trigonometric ratios are going to change. That is what we will see in the next video. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.